can we just take a second, a moment, to appreciate the comedy gold, which is Obi Wan Kenobi? <laughs> Oh my god, this is it's like it's like I'm watching Johnny English. It's like I'm watching Mr. Bean or something. This is so funny, man. Did they intend to make this a comedy show? This is this Obi-Wan Kenobi show is comedy. Oh my god, it's so funny. The plot holes is unbelievable. I heard a bunch of people talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like, mind you, if you go on all the review sites and all, everyone's talking about, oh, this is amazing. This is it's a stunning and brave. It's uh, it's what they've been expecting, what they've been waiting for. Obi Wan Kenobi is taking Star Wars to a whole nother level and stuff. And I'm like, whoa! The critics online are saying are saying one thing, but the fans are saying something else. So I was like, all right, let me let me watch this thing. Let me let me just watch it and see. Let me let me see. I'm reserving judgment until I watch it. And then I watched it. Uh, I, I I was just laughing out loud from <laughs> from the start to finish. Number one, this Reva character, she's as interesting as a as watching paint dry. She's as interesting as charismatic as a plank of wood. But you know, at the beginning, Disney uh, Disney Star Wars and Lucasfilm came out and talking about, yo, look, we've got a black. Uh, actor, we've got a, a black Star Wars character, so you can't say nothing bad about her. Look, she's black. If you say anything bad about her, you're racist. You're racist and misogynistic. That's like the shield they use to block, to deflect from their crap content. Just hire a black person. Let's use black people as shield. The people that created this show have never seen Star Wars, according to them. They've never seen Star Wars. They do not understand Star Wars. And what do you expect them to make? And for those of you, those hardcore Star Wars fans that keep hoping and praying that Star Wars will come back from the dead. Dude, come on, man. It's gone. It's not coming back. <laughs> it's never coming back. I stopped watching Star Wars after The Last Jedi when uh, Cara Fisher, uh, Princess Leia turned into space Superman and started flying around the place. I'm like, whoa, that's, wow, she's got the force? Didn't know that. Didn't know she was a Jedi. When did that happen? It was just, oh, man, the force is female, dude. How don't you, didn't you get the memo that the force is female? Every Disney show right now is a bait and switch. The stupid She-Hulk coming out is going to be a bait and switch as well. And you've got all these bumbling buffoon white men that these women have to save all the time because they're so incompetent. The agenda is so blatant. Who watches this shit? And the Inquisitor black girl, Reva, hired some bounty hunter to go and capture Princess Leia for some reason because she knew that would bring Obi-Wan Kenobi out of hiding. And for some reason, she's got a gripe with Obi-Wan Kenobi and all this is never explained. How did she know Princess Leia was important to Obi, Obi Wan Kenobi? How did she? Uh, why does she have so much anger towards Obi Wan Kenobi? Nothing. It's, it's like everything just happens for the sake of, you know, progressing the storyline, and nothing is ever explained. It's unbelievable. It's like a, it's like a bunch of teenagers wrote this, man. The bounty hunters went over to Princess Leia, who she say she's ten years old, but she's she's like five years old. I remember when I was ten years old, I wasn't that small. And these bounty hunters, I have to be like the stupidest bounty hunters I've ever seen in my life. They couldn't catch a five year old who like running in place 
and she was like running around them and it's like watching spy kids spy kids oh my lord this is horse shit this is pure donkey balls man and the final the, the battle uh came with a uh, a darth vader and obi-wan kenobi and we're expecting obi-wan kenobi it's like all right bring on the lightsaber now and let's get the action rolling and dude just ran away his <laughs> vader is like we're meet again obi-wan and Obi-Wan is like, <laughs> it just ran away. <laughs> it ran away twice. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh, my Lord. Oh, man. Oh. So, Leia got captured. And Obi-Wan went to this uh, mechanic guy that's like operating this underground railroad to help. Jedi's ex- escape and he went there and was begging the guy oh please we have to go go rescue Princess Leia blah 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 and the guy's like I can't help you everyone in the galaxy or whatever is looking for you I can't help you we're gonna bring danger to us and then in a couple of seconds it was like I'm going to help you so what do you need from me <laughs> who writes this thing who writes this <laughs> comedy gold and Obi-Wan Kenobi always has this blank stare of buffoonery on his face looking like an idiot the the entire series so far from one to four he's got this look on his face like like a lost stupid weak beta male character man what is this I could write a better show